the one behavior of drinking alcohol can alter you in a myriad of different ways, right? It can alter your life in so many different ways, um, so many negative ways as well. Um, and the opposite can also be true. You know, one positive habit that you build into your life can um, change your life irrevocably um, into the future, right? I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com and today I wanted to talk a, a little bit about habit change, right? And how one behavior can completely transform who you are, um, can completely transform your life. Um, and this behavior can be good or bad, right? And it can transform your life in a good or a bad way, right? So I love the idea of uh, cornerstone habits, right? Um, foundational habits. Uh, and it is normally just one specific behavior that you have in your life and it can be either as I say a good habit or a bad habit and from that one basic uh, cornerstone habit everything else is built off around that. Um, I'll go for the bad habit first right the drinking alcohol because that's what we're all here to try and stop um, when you're drinking alcohol so I say it takes up a lot of your time and I don't think that alcohol builds the framework of your life, right? I think alcohol is a part of that framework, right? Um, it's a part of this instant gratification model that we like to live. It's a part of this fast paced life of we want to have what we want now. We want to relax right now. We want to be able to take a pill or to drink a potion or to eat a food that not only gives us um, an end goal in, in a reward that we're seeking right to get us quickly into relaxation mode or to get us quickly into feeding our hunger if it's a food um, but we also want uh, to be entertained by this you know um, but alcohol drinking is certainly uh, a cornerstone habit it's the same as smoking cigarettes is a cornerstone habit um, it brings you down on so many levels. You know, when you smoke cigarettes, it sort of it affects your breathing, it affects your the way your uh, body responds, uh, it affects how you respond to other people, it affects how, you know, so many different, it permeates so many different areas of your life, and the same with alcohol. Um, you know, when you've got a hangover, the last thing you want to do is go out exercising the next morning. The last thing you want to do is eat healthy the next morning, you know, um, all your, you know, when I used to drink, all my my uh, senses were saying to me, yeah, hang over time, eat loads of greasy fast food and stuff, you know, have a, a fry up for breakfast, what they call um, uh, an English breakfast or an Irish breakfast, you know, with bacon, eggs, sausages, black pudding, all greasy foods that hit straight to the to the point of what I wanted at that time, which was to sort of make me feel comforted, you know. Um, and that's basically what it all boils down to, is a comfort, isn't it? But this then starts to snowball um, and it starts sort of an avalanche in your life because, you know, you get over the hangover and, you know, you feel good again. You start to think, well, yeah, it wasn't too bad after all. I'll go out and I'll have some more of that tomorrow, you know. Um, I'll have some more of that tonight. Or while I'm in the hangover, I'll have some more of that now, right, to cure me of what I've done to myself, you know. So it's more instant gratification instead of letting it overcome you. So it becomes like a negative spiral. You're going downwards and downwards, you know. And this, as I say, the snowball, this one basic habit is gathering momentum and it's pulling in all other negative habits, right? You're eating bad food, you're sort of hanging around with people who are doing the same thing as you, you know? Um, not getting exercise, not eating good foods and smoking and drinking and all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, it's happened to me at a very early age and it sort of was a, this was my life for a long time, you know? Um, you know, on the other side of that, I also tried to work, I had a business, um, you know, and I always try to improve myself 
as much as I could. But this one foundational habit that I had in my life, uh, the cornerstone habit um, of drinking and smoking, um, you know, these all sort of kept dragging me down. And it's the same way as when you quit drinking and you bring in some new habits into your life, right? My habit every day after I stopped drinking was just to get out walking. That was my foundational habit for, um, yeah, I, I mean, I still do it now. I'm trying to get back into it this year with um, a lot more walking than I, than I have been doing previously, right, the last few months anyway. Uh, so that one foundational habit for me of uh, walking, um, it picked up my health in um, a lot of different ways. It took my thoughts away from alcohol, took my energies away from drinking alcohol, and it made me walk more aware of my body and uh, my thoughts and um, negative and positive thoughts. And, you know, it led me on to doing other things. You know, I started yoga. Uh, I started to uh, eat healthy. I mean, it took me a year and a half before I started really looking at my, my uh, nutrition. And first of all, I went vegetarian and then I went completely vegan. Uh, uh, plant-based diet. It's not even a plant-based diet. It's nutritionally, it's the most nutritionally uh, beneficial diet that I could come across with. And that was, it's, you know, when you're looking at nutrition from that perspective, you're looking at taking things out of your diet as well as putting things in. So you're mixing and matching both, right? So for me, it was taking meat and dairy products, all animal products out of my diet and replacing them with fruit and vegetables, beans, legumes, um, you know, just fresh, whole products um, and you know that sort of spiraled out into my business uh, you know I was able to do so much in my business I've written three books um, I've made two video courses I've nearly got the third one finished now um, I've you know I've done so much with, with regards to making these free videos and just building the website and building my contacts and yeah, you know, unbelievable to where I was before. Um, and that's all because of that one, getting rid of the one foundational habit that was holding up all the other bad behaviors and bringing in a new foundational habit, right? And, you know, it, it's not all be all, be all and end all, right? It's, this is not just, it's the one thing, the walking, which is responsible for everything else. I, you know, I'm not saying that, but it's, when you start to do one thing and you start to, you know, persistently do it, you, regardless of what you're, you're doing every day, you make time for that one habit, that one healthy habit in your life, the one positive thing, then it starts the ball rolling for your thinking on uh, um, a more optimal level, uh, a more optimal framework around your life, you know, and as I say, it brings in, for me, it brought in uh, better nutrition, better thinking, better uh, relationships, better um, life in general, you know. Um, so, you know, it is all about getting a balance. So you're getting rid of one and you're bringing in the other. So, you know, when, when I'm talking about quitting drinking um, at the beginning of this thing, you know, you focus on the one habit at the one time, you know. Um, I think you should focus on replacing one habit with another. So for me, it was getting that walking. Um, I was a walker before, but it wasn't every day, you know, I didn't consistently do this. I didn't persist at it every day. Um, so for me, stop drinking and then get out walking. So replace the drinking with the walking. Um, it, you can't sort of, there's no such thing as negative, uh, negative space where it comes to habits, right? You can't take something out of your life without replacing it. You've got to replace it with something else. Now, a lot of people, when they stop drinking, they start on Coke or they bring in another, something else which is adding, is feeding another addiction in their lives, you know, or is building another addiction in your life. You don't want to do that. You know, you want to look at this as, you know, optimal thinking, right? Optimal um, habit change, optimal behavior change. Try and think of what you can do to build yourself up instead of, um just overcoming the urges you know you know trying to overcome the cravings of drinking by 
feeding yourself with sugar is not a good idea, right? Because you're just replacing one um, bad habit for another. So try and replace the bad habit with a good habit, right? Um, whether that's walking, uh, going out dancing, doing whatever you, you, know, you think. Uh, walking is good because it's easy, it's simple. You get up in the morning, uh, whatever it is, you put your shoes on, you go out the door and you just walk. And there's nothing more to it than that, you know? Um, if you don't like walking, if you think it's boring, then, you know, listen to music, listen to audiobooks. I love listening to audiobooks when I'm out walking. It sort of, you know, uh, has two different objectives, right? It's the one I'm walking and the other time, I'm, uh, the other objective is that I'm learning as well, so. Uh, you know, the, uh, the whole theme of this, you know, the whole theme of all these videos is to move onwards and upwards. That's the whole ethos behind alcohol mastery and it's moving away from alcohol and into something else you know not just moving um, away from alcohol not just denying yourself something that you want it's finding the reasons why you don't want to do this anymore finding the the reasons why this thing is shit and this thing is sort of um, killing you slowly and destroying your life in the process and finding what the the positive optimistic optimal ways that you can uh, live your life from now on right that's what it's all about um so i'm just saying that one uh, foundational habit um will be the it will kick start your your new journey you know it will bring you uh it will bring you so many more benefits it'll make you think um about yourself in a completely different way um, and it'll make you sort of see things, as I say, from this optimal point of view where you're sort of looking at your life and you're seeing where else you can make improvements. You know, you'll see that the, the improvements that you're making just because you quit drinking, because you've got rid of this negativity and you're bringing in this positive influence into your life. You'll see that and you'll start to think, well, yeah, if I can do this, I can do something else. And if I can do that, I can do something else. And you build and build and build and build as you go through this. And that's what it's all about. So if you have any questions at all, uh, leave them down below. If you want to listen to the audio of this video or any of the videos, you can find the audio just below the videos on the website, along with the transcripts. Um, until next time, uh, stay positive. Keep the alcohol out of your mouth. Stay, stay safe. Um, I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Onwards and upwards.